video i'm going to show you how you can reduce the cost of your fish farm production by simply installing irrigation systems and recycled water system yes you might be wondering how i'm going to prove that to you in this video if you are new to the channel my name is is isa please kindly subscribe to the channel all we do here to share fish farming tips like i said earlier i've been saying it in my videos the number one cost of production in fish farming is fish feed. Apart from the feed, the next one is water. And I must also say that even sometimes the water issue has even overweight or wants to overcome the issue of feed in terms of cost. I'm saying this because in terms of feed, if you plan very well and you buy your feed in large quantity, then you are good to go but with the water there's no way you can run the farm successful without constantly changing the water especially if you don't have these two systems set in place so having the system set will save you greatly in terms of cost energy and time you must you might want to know how when you're running your farm without the sanitation system and you always have to change the water it will cost you a lot in several ways for instance if you are connected to the metropolitan assembly tap we call it tap water the tap water comes with meter and once you are filling in the meters reading at the end of the day you are going to pay a, a water bill not only that even if you are running it with boho where you believe that after you drill the borehole you don't have any bill to pay that's unfortunate remember that you are using mechanized boho and the pumping of the water from the boho to the pond also consumes electricity so paying electricity bill there is also another issue with it Another consequence is that the metropolitan assembly, if you rely on that water, is sort of liable. Especially if you're living in Tamale or any part of Ghana and even Africa. Sometimes there are times that the pipes are locked up and there's no water flowing. So if you don't ha if you don't have water flowing and you have to change the water, that's going to be a big issue. Even if you have storage, there are times that you run out of water in the storages. So, it is going to be cumbersome to be using that water which is not reliable. And like I said, the borehole too, you need electricity to pump it up. And even some of the borehole sometimes, the water dry up during dry season. And you always get water during rain season. And fish, you must always have water for them, for them to strive. Now, if you're not using any of these two sources, and you're also using dumps or rivers, you probably will want to have a water tanker who will always fetch water, or a vehicle who will always fetch the water from the dam to your farm. This also is cost effective because if you don't have that tanker, you need to hire it. And even if you have, then fueling it and maintaining it is also another cost. So all this comes at a cost to you as a fish farmer so the unreliable sources of these water bodies are also issues because there are times that the water bodies also dry up most especially during hamatan season if you're in west africa during this period most water bodies dry up and even fish pond water evaporates out because of that you need a system that was set in place to solve that now even if you have all this water is abundant uh, no paying bills or you don't have any water issues but the energy it will take you to always change the water is not even an easy thing because every two three days you have to change the water because the place will be smelling the water will be dirty and thick so to change the water you can't just drain the water up once and put in water it takes time and when you're doing up you need to be around be vigilant and check out how it is going out 
when you are putting in water to the same thing all this comes with time consuming and energy consuming so all this is not the best practice as a fish farmer so what do you think if i tell you that i have solution to this the solution that will protect you from constant changing the water therefore minimizing the little water that you have reducing energy and time it will consume the waste in the water this solution will not only solve your water crisis but it is also will also make your fish to strive and grow bigger and successful in the pond and the reason is that since the water is going to be filtered and oxygen is going to be added the fish are going to love it the metabolism is going to be high food conversion ratio is going to be high and growth will be the end result that's what every fish farmer wants at the end of the day we are going to have bigger fish and make more profit this solution it might not be new to you but most fish farmers are still not aware that is the risk regulating aquatic system and the aeration systems these are two separate systems someone can decide to put only flotation system someone can put only aeration system but putting do these two to work together is the best practice because they will be complementing each other and this will allow you to run the farm without constantly changing the water i am not giving you theories or i'm not telling you what people are seeing or what i am seeing i am telling you what i am doing now in my farm and that is helping us to produce our fish without changing the water it usually takes months even to harvesting season without changing the water i'm not saying you will not change the water but you can only change the water on conditions and sometimes proper maintenance or poor pond management can lead to the water change otherwise you have to always run the water and you will not change it it is easy and simple yes if you know it very well so this is what we have been doing and we have been doing it for farms traveling across the nation to put protection system for people let me left out we also contacts get it installed and you will be living example or testimonial to what i am saying i'm not giving you theories yes and the cost you may say it's high but compared to the benefits it's highly 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 affordable the cost depending on how you want it to set up but averagely or all things being equal it is 3000 Ghana cities for the two setups it could be more or less depending on how the setup is going to be done this is the cost of the setup if you are from far away and then it needs to be extended to your place then you can look or talk about the cost of transporting the items and the persons to come and fix it for you this is super affordable because you put it once and for all the unfortunate thing is that because i need to be honest with you you need to keep daily cleaning and maintenance of the system yes if i said daily you need to daily wash it because if you don't wash it out daily it will work all right but the consequence is that the farm will tend to be smelly because as the feces are filtered into the system and you don't take it off the system the farm will be smelly and this is super easy it's so something that can consume a lot of time five minutes and at most 10 minutes you have done cleaning it and you are good to go you may even skip a day or two and there will not be any problem another thing is the use of electricity yes people think that uh, it is consuming electricity yes it is however the consumption is very low because putting the two pumps together because irrigation system is using one pump and the recycle aquatic system is also using one pump putting these or putting both pumps together the watts is not more than 100 mostly it's 100 watts or sometimes lesser and you know 100 watts is just like normal bulb so the consumption is very low so please uh, if you have been inspired and you want to grow your fish bigger less energy consumption time saving 
water saving and enjoy your fish to grow bigger then don't hesitate to contact us my name is Abdulaziz Easter once again this is Fakwa Akoponis all we do in this channel is to share fish farming tips based on our experience and our research thank you please watch out our next video